Hi, I'm Tracy Christensen. Welcome to Community Connection. The joy of being young and the happy memories made with family and friends is something most people look back fondly on. However, for some children, their reality is full of abuse, neglect, or abandonment. I'm joined today by Gina Barker and Lisa McDonald from the Christmas Box International. And they're here to tell us about the programs this organization provides for children, not just during the holidays, but year round. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. So I have read the book, but tell us more about the Christmas Box International and what you do. Well, we were actually founded by Richard Paul Evans in 1996, and he used those initial proceeds from that book, The Christmas Box, to build the first emergency children's shelter, which is what we're best known for. We have actually three throughout the state, but and those are open 365 days of the year. It means 24 seven, a police officer or a caseworker who's responding and might find a child in a dangerous situation can bring that child to that facility. And there will be somebody there staffing it to make sure that that child is bathed. Sometimes they have to be deloused when they're first brought on site, that they get clean clothes, that they might get school supplies, anything that these children need when they're coming into care, we provide those donations. And really, it's the community that's providing those donations. So we're best known for those houses, but really, in a given year, we're serving nearly 8,000 children, and that's a pretty big number. It is. We're serving a lot of children outside of our Christmas box houses. Our programs are trying to find what the actual need is for children that are coming into foster care, children that might be at risk of removal and um, are, ha might have a caseworker, how we can get those families and those children resources when they need them. And so even in, um, you know, along the Wasatch Front and throughout the state, we might be providing anything from baby formula to diapers um, to, you know, getting teens an iTunes gift card for their birthday. It, it really ranges on what we're able to do for these children. And it's very specific to that child's needs. Right, on a wide range of ages, like you said. Yes. And all through the year. So you, you take donations all year, I imagine. Absolutely. We could not do what we do without our community. So we take both financial donations. Donations of funds are always great because we can really direct those to where the need is most at the at that time, mm -hmm. but we also take in-kind donations. Uh, we do request in honor of the children that they be new items, but we of course take things like clothing, toys, school supplies, books, formula. Also, we have a program that serves older children, the kids, the young adults who are aging out of foster care or who, who are homeless, and so items that could be helpful to them, small appliances, even some snacks, those kind of things. So. We, we can take a whole range of things. And of yeah. course, we have wish lists on our website that Great. they can go to under our Get Involved tab, and it can tell what we need in certain areas, whether you live in Provo or Salt Lake or Moab, all those places. You, and I imagine that it varies a lot, but how, how long would a child or a young adult stay in one of your homes? Could be short, could be long? It really depends. It's it's a case-by-case -case basis. And that's what I always like to tell people is that really um, every child is treated like an individual and their specific needs are met by on-site therapists, by volunteers, by the staff that are working with them day in, day out. And it could range from an hour until they can find the right family member that could uh, that's willing to take in that child to, um, you know, on average, I want to say it's around three weeks is what we look at. And it's important for people to remember that even though it's called the Christmas Box uh, House International, that, it, that it's all year. It's and, all year. And so needs are all year. And could you just tell us about a, a story of a life that you've been able to impact? Well, you know, you talk about how we serve these kids all year round. Um, you know, child abuse happens all year round. Child, is, child abuse is an issue that impacts every community every community, it does not know socioeconomics, it does not know education levels, it does During, not know borders. Right. In, in any given year here in Utah, they have about 19,000 referrals of children. Now, not all of those pan out, but in any given time, there's about 2,800 kids in the foster care system, as well as a number of other kids who are dealing with homelessness or other things that are still within their homes. 
The thing that honors me the most about being able to represent this charity is our motto, every child deserves a childhood, and how we're able to treat them like such individuals because we have such an amazing community that's willing to show up for these kids and do something special for them. We had this one little boy who came in and um, both parents were chronically homeless. He'd never lived in a proper home. He was celebrating his sixth birthday, mm -hmm. but he'd never had a birthday before. And we were able to, again, through our community, find, uh, he was obsessed with superheroes because what little boy who's right is not obsessed with superheroes. And we got him an ice cream cake and we got this guy who, I think they said he spent something ridiculous, like a $2,000 mark on this Batman costume. I think he was in Comic-Con or something like that. Mm. And he comes and he surprises the kid. And what I love so much is when, when uh, Batman first comes, he can't even make eye contact. He's just like, <laughs> he's so overwhelmed with it that he's covering his face. And then within five minutes, he's running around and he's like, Batman, come see me, come see my room and come see what I got for my birthday. And instead of having a moment where this child was in a shelter for his birthday, he's gonna remember Batman showing up. A happy, happy memory. That's childhood. the difference. Every child deserves a childhood. They, get to, they deserve to get to go see Frozen with all their other peers and feel like they're not ostracized in the classroom because they didn't see this new Disney movie that came out. They deserve to have a birthday. They deserve to go and trick or treat just like other kids. They, they're going through something profoundly difficult. And our job is to step in and give them the opportunity to have a childhood. Can you remind us of your website so people can go on and find out more? It's www dot the Christmas Fox House dot org. And we'd love to have people check us out. We also have a great project elf, which is kind of like a sub, sub for Santa that happens at Christmas time. Wonderful. Thanks so much for being here and for all you do. Thank you. The Christmas Box International is one of many groups in our state that helps improve the quality of life for children and teens. To learn more about programs and services that help others, please log on to our webpage at kbyu11.org. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to see you next time on Community Connection.